Hey guys, what is up? R7 Response here, bringing you guys the first episode of my new series here on Yasha Load called Augmentating Your Game. It's a largely Halo-based series, but will convert over into other shooters as I see fit. May go into Black Ops 2, definitely Crisis 3, and other games as they come out. So today we're going to be looking at the Warthog, because in the first episode, which is over on my channel, we covered the armor abilities and all the kind of perk deals in Halo 4, and today we're going to be covering one of the most popular vehicles in all of Halo, and possibly all video games, the Warthog. So let's get right into it. Some of the pros for the Warthog, it's a very agile vehicle. You're able to move very fast. It's the second fastest vehicle in the game, besides the Mongoose, and I think the Ghost when you're using the Boost, it's uh, much fa it's a little bit faster than the Warthog. The next thing is it's a double threat. You have the big anti-air gun or the Goss cannon, you can splatter people, and even if you want to load someone up in the passenger seat that isn't carrying the flag, they can do some real damage. Clean up those headshots at the regular turret might miss and in my opinion it's the best all-around vehicle now if you're going to be fighting anybody like a mantis or a banshee generally the warthog if you have a smart enough driver and gunner you can come out on top and that's why i think it's the best vehicle in the game now some of the cons and there trust me there are cons to this vehicle even though it's one of the best is it's lacking firepower the general turret isn't that strong if you guys are going to see in the gameplay here it's heavily cherry picked because I couldn't really find any good drivers on my friends list and I had to end up going into matchmaking and finding randoms. Don't worry, we'll get into that sooner. Is the main turret lacks some firepower compared to previous games like in Halo 3 and Halo Reach. So you're definitely going to want to use the engineer specialization where it doesn't allow the turret to overheat. Team shooting is another big thing. Like these vehicles, if everyone on the other team puts a DMR mag into it, it's going to catch on fire and it's going to blow up. It's really annoying, there's a ton of weapons that can deal with the Warthog, but like I said, if you have a good enough driver, you can get through it. And it's an assist machine. Now I know some of you guys may not think it's that bad, but in my opinion, it's really more of a game, it's more of a gun that should be able to get kills, except if you can lower their shields, chances are one of your teammates will pop them in the head with the DMR or the VR. And it can be a little annoying, because you know, you want to get those ordnance drops up as fast as possible. Now the next thing we're going to move into is the class setup. Now the class setup that I would recommend using is uh, shield recharge rate armor ability, so your shields recharge quicker. Uh, the next big thing I'd recommend is the sensor, which allows you to see, which allows your radar to be bigger than it normally is. And the last one is really up to you, you guys can make your own pick for that. Those are just the two that I found the most useful for me. Now let's move into some tips. Communication. Now communication between the driver and the gunner is absolutely key. Like I said, the Warthog can deal out a ton of damage, but it's going to mean nothing if you and your teammate don't have a mic and you're not communicating. The driver should be telling the uh, gunner where the next targets are and the gunner should be giving the driver tips on what's going to be coming from behind them because the driver obviously can't see back there. Now another big thing, teamwork. You're gonna want to be helping. You're gonna want to use the Warthog as kind of a diversion, and it's going to allow your teammates to rack up some easy kills. Again, Halo is one of those games where you need communication. Call of Duty is uh, kind of like where you can have a couple of window-looking teammates, one one in nineteen, and you can still do fairly well. If you don't have smart teammates in Halo, you are going to get destroyed. Trust me when I say this. You may notice a couple times in the bottom right-hand corner that my team is winning. That's just because I was playing at a party of about five or four people and we were all just using communication, controlling the hill, and me and my buddy were driving around the Warthog just absolutely wrecking people. Now the big thing that I just want as a bonus tip is the offense and defense. So when you're going to be wanting to, to you're, again, this goes back to communication. If your gunner's shields are down, you're going to want to retreat, give it a minute, let his shield recharge, then go back in. Especially when you're facing something like a Mantis where you're going to have to use the Warthog's maneuverability as much as possible and even the Banshee. The Banshee's great. It's not as powerful as it was in Halo Reach, but you're definitely going to want to be able to dip in and out of the trees, rocks, because that's the main map you're going to be playing on. It's Ragnarok. So you're going to want to know the map well. Another key factor to the Warthog is definitely just knowing when to splatter and when to lay off. So you're going to notice in a couple of clips that my driver is going to go for the splatter. He really shouldn't do that because when you get up close with the splatter, there's always a chance that that person's carrying sticky grenades or even a plasma pistol. So you're going to be sitting there with like a duck in the water and it's going to be no fun for anyone on your team when you lose a warthog that early in the game. 
So guys, as always, my name is our seven response. I hope you guys enjoyed augmentating your game the first episode in my series here on Yesterday Load. I'll be here every Thursday. And if you guys want to, come over and check out my channel. I got a couple of Halo 4 videos up, and I'm going to be releasing some Black Ops 2, just like everyone else. So guys, as always, I'm R7, and I'm out. Peace.